boosters boosting. I get computers puking. Y'all get shot at. Call me, I do the shooting. I do the recruiting. I do the students. I nurture they brain. I'm moving the movement. Whoever boot is a Buddha. That's Judas or Judah. I got Luger. Welcome to Yellow Brick Road. I am Jordan, and today I'm going to talk about the newly formed Russia interference in our 2020 elections. Both Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders, apparently. But first, please consider donating to Devin's Journey to Recovery. The GoFundMe link is in the description box. If you got five bucks or more laying around, you want to donate to a charity helping out one of our subscribers and his wife, you can at Devin's Journey to Recovery. GoFundMe link in the description box. And fuck medical debt. Fuck that shit. All right. So as you can see from uh, is this the New York Times, intelligence officials told lawmakers Russia is aiding President Trump in the 2020 election. The New York Times reports. Hmm. Sounds like a repeat. Why? What, what, what information do they have? They're just saying it. It sounds like they're just saying it. And they're going to come up with evidence later on. You know, like, uh, you know, you sort of push the story, put the story out there, and you, as you're collecting uh, evidence, you uh, start brewing a, a story up just to get the masses to pay attention to it. And then you start releasing little things that, if you really looked into it in detail, I'd be like, oh, this is like nothing. All right? Uh, Jimmy Dore's going to have a field day with this, by the way. Jimmy Dore, Michael Tracy... Oh, look at that. Look what's trending right now. Let me, let me move this over so you can see it. Look, breaking news. This is all trending as I'm talking. What does that say? Bernie new? Russian interference? Hashtag Bernie is a Russian asset? Oh, boy. I'm actually curious what this is. I'm doing this on the fly. Look at this. Bernie new? Well, now all the robots make more sense. Also answer the GOP question. Putin isn't interested in who wins. He wants us weak and divided. Both Trump and Sanders are polarizing figures. <laughs> and did Bernie not make his own bed in regards to this? I mean, I could spend the whole time bashing him. But, you know, like, all right, here. You can look at this. Check this out. All right, this is from the debate. And what you will see is the most ugly, sexist, racist attacks that are, I wouldn't even describe them here. They're so disgusting. And let me say something else about this, not being too paranoid. All of us remember 2016. And what we meant, what we remember is efforts by Russians and others to try to interfere in our election and divide us up. I'm not saying that's happening, but it would not shock me. I saw some of those tweets regarding the Culinary Workers Union. I am have a 30-year, 100% pro-union voting record. Do you think I would support or anybody supports me would be attacking union leaders? All right, so, right? Let's not forget about 2016. I could bash on Bernie all day. All right, and here's the, uh, the article in the Washington Post. Breaking. Bernie Sanders briefed by U.S. officials that Russia is trying to help his presidential campaign. Now, I'm not going to say I told you so because I wasn't hyping this shit up to be like, oh, this this is all a plan to take down the left and blah, blah, blah. I wasn't in that lane. It's not thinking, I just called it bullshit, a bullshit story that they're using for political purposes because they're creepers. They hate you. No joke here. If you're watching this, you're just a normal person. These people hate your fucking guts. No joke. But I will show you something that did say I told you so. Here's a, uh, come on, come on, come on, computer. There it is. Hope you can see that. There's a Max Blumenthal. Let me move this back over. Quoting Yashar Ali on Twitter. He says, I said in 2017, when, when few would listen, 
Russiagate would ultimately be used as a weapon against the left. The phony story spun out by the intelligence services proves my point. The tragedy is that Bernie has echoed Russia hysteria in a futile bid to, to mollify, <laughs> malign IC forces. I don't know what that is. IC forces. It's probably something simple. I'm just not thinking of it. Whatever. And he's quoting Yashar Ali breaking the news that Russia is attempting to help Bernie Sanders. Right? It's never anything like, uh, you know, some shit that they would want. Right? Like, oh, oh Russia is attempting to help Trump bomb Syria for uh, a phony chemical weapons attack story. It's never that. It's always something against you. Right? You may think this is against Trump or against Bernie Sanders. Like, no, this is for you guys. The populace, this is a, they're essentially like, they're fighting a battle against you. And you guys are fighting back to give you credit, right? But this is ultimately for you. This is an attack on you. Someone that a lot of people consider meaning well in Bernie Sanders. And they're like, oh, he's he's going to put, he's going to bring change, change in policy. He's gonna, he has these new policies and all this stuff. Stuff that's actually possible, and we can get it done through grassroots support. That person will be attacked from all angles, right? They do everything from setting up questions at debates or in interviews to all the way the State Department says this dude uh, is, he's loved by the enemy. (laughs) Same thing with Trump. Ah, wrong one. Same thing with Trump. A perceived populist candidate. And Trump's doing everything they want as far as like the State Department and all that shit. The neocon maneuvers this dude is doing. But what's the attack for? Right? Is this against Donald Trump or is it against people feeling like they have a choice in the matter? Or feeling like they have the power to elect whoever they want? That's where the attack is. (laughs) Trump's doing everything they want. You know, as far as uh, policy goes, his economic policy is Reagan, George Bush, no problem. His foreign policy, Reagan, George Bush, no problem. So what's the attack for? The attack is for normal people thinking like, oh, you guys think you're going to do something here? We're going for your minds. We will uh, go after your psyche and try to train it. To behave in a certain way. What else? Here's some other people saying, I told you so. Here's Kyle Kolinsky. Goddamn computer, damn it. Here's Kyle Kolinsky. I warned the left 5,879 times not to feed into Russiagate bullshit because it would always come back to hurt us. Now here we are. This is 100% made up and it's an attempt to hurt his campaign. I agree, Kyle. I fucking agree. In fact, Bernie Sanders agrees with you. Come on, computer, come on. There we go. And don't worry about the words. I'm just going to play the clip here. Yeah. Let me rewind. Listen to this. How did you think it came out now if you had the briefing a month ago? Well, I'll let you guess about one day before the Iowa, the uh, Nevada caucus. Why do you think it came out? No. Was the Washington vote? Oh, don't fucking freeze on me. Whatever. The point is, right, she's like, hey, you had this meeting a month ago. It's like, well, that's news to us. That's news to me, at least. And then they're like, why do you think it just came out now? Right before... A, literally a day before the Nevada caucus. And he's like, yeah, you figure it out. <laughs> Why do you think it came out right before the Nevada caucus? Hmm. A little curious, right? And look what's all trending. Hashtag Bernie new. Hashtag Russian interference. Hashtag B- Bernie is a Russian asset. Anything they can get. Any little thing they can get. Now, I don't think it's going to work, just like it didn't work on Trump. Right, and if in fact it made his his followers stronger and more confident, and it probably brought in new 
followers. But Bernie's in a different spot, right? Because the whole Russia thing is perceived by the Trump fans as a left versus right thing. It's the leftists coming after the true conservatives, coming after us. With Bernie saying, it's his own people who has, you know, his own team, his own side, right? Who have a, you know, a certain amount of people that believe in the Russia gate shit, <laughs> right? So it's like, this would hurt more. It would hurt Bernie more than it would hurt Trump. It probably helps Trump. Probably hurts Bernie a little bit. I hope it doesn't. And, you know, I still think he wins all because the youth ain't buying this shit. This is for old, old fucks. No offense to any older people, but it's for old fucks who have the subconscious implanted red scare bullshit in their mind somewhere. The hide under the hide under the desk bullshit. So Yeah, I think I nailed it there right there. And <laughs> this is we will take anything we can get. Like drones. Like robots. Very, very, very interesting. And, uh, yeah. Like Bernie said, like, very curious that this just came out a day before this thing. When we had the meeting a month ago. All of a sudden, now it's out here. Now, Bernie's going to have to take some blame for this. As in, you should, be, you should have smoked this story a while ago. He said, fuck you. I know what you're doing. Yeah, I'll take the meeting, but uh, I'm going to push back in the meeting. Okay, show me your evidence. Let me see it. Let me see the evidence. Well, we have these accounts. Hey, uh, my team who's right next to me. Hey, go find out about these accounts. See if you can get in contact with them. You know, nothing stupid. No doxing, no bullshit. Just uh, you know, find out who it is. See if you can talk to them. And you find out, like, oh, these are fake accounts. These aren't my supporters. Oh, look, they said shit. About uh, just like the uh, the Rus- the Russian interference in the 2016 election, when you find out these accounts are putting out, you know, and on one thing they're saying, on one hand they're saying, I love Trump, Trump's the best. And in another circle they're saying, oh, I love Hillary, Hillary's the best. And it's just like, oh, are these like money-making schemes? They seem more like that than trying to interfere in democracy. Right? They told us it had no effect on the election. So what's the, what the fuck's going on here? What is it? Oh, boy. So, with all that said, I do want to play this because it's just... I'm just playing this for fun. It's funny to me. Where is it? There it is. Let me move him over so you can see his fucking stupid face. The dumbest fucking political commentator in YouTube history... Uh, in in history, my bad. In history, he is the dumbest. Guys doing parody accounts pretending to be dumb are smarter than this fucking guy. He is by far the dumbest. Not even close. Not even fucking close. And if these other YouTubers with large followings, like a secular talk, like Kyle Kalinske or Jimmy Dore, and they heard, and they actually watched this dude's videos, they'd be like, whoa, this dude's just, he's been hiding in the back alley saying this shit. Gathering little crowds here and there. I didn't pay any, pay any attention to him because, you know, who gives a shit about Tim Pool? Well, this guy gets like 150, 200,000 views of video and they're all in the bubble. And they're just, he's saying absolute nonsense bullshit. And people, and his crowd, I don't think knows any better to call him out on it unless he criticizes Trump. Then they'll know something. But if he says, the left, the left, the left, he can just make shit up. And there's no one there informed enough to push back on him. So he can he can go on his channel in his bubble and say shit like... The FBI has concluded it was Russia. Trump wants the evidence. They, he could come out right now and say it was Russia. But Assange has maintained it wasn't. So naturally the Trump administration and his DOJ are saying, then who was it if you're going to deny it? Assange won't release it. So you know what? It's entirely possible it was Russia. So you know what? (laughs) 
like it's like he's just on on the fly just saying shit out loud kind of like what i do but uh I at least go through the steps of saying, like, okay, I don't know this from the jump, or this is my opinion on what's out here already, or this is what I'm seeing on the surface here. Oh, here's a link to everything I'm looking at so you can source it, or so you can uh, look over it yourself. This fucking guy, man. Like, he's the worst. If you're watching this and you're a fan of this, I beg you to... Don't research other people that are talking shit about him. Don't look back at my videos talking shit about him. Look up his videos, watch a video, and then look up the topic he's talking about. Like a real issue. Not him talking about, you know, women are upset about this. Not that bullshit. I mean like an actual news story. Look up when he's talking about Julian Assange. Look up when he's talking about Obama and Trump's foreign policy and he's comparing them together. Look up the information that's actually said there. And if you need credible sources that I believe to be credible, you can come to me and ask me about it. That's all I'm asking from you guys, because this guy needs to fucking go. He needs to go. He basically, he did a video, and the only point of it, the only point of this video that Tim Pool did was to exonerate Trump from anything, even if it's WikiLeaks claim, making the claim against him. But he, no, no, he didn't do that. He steps back. He says, I don't know. He says, oh. He says, I'm hot. Then he says, he's cold. See, he didn't say he was hot. He said he was cold after. That's what you get with this fucking guy. Two steps forward, two steps back, and you walk away with nothing. Like, we didn't even go anywhere, man. Yeah, but I got a view, and now I can build my skate park. He built a skate park in his backyard. That's what he's doing with the money you guys give him. Just saying. I don't know why I brought this up. I brought, eh, I brought it up because of the Russia stuff. And it's like, here is the dipshit to not go to. Because he might do it in a way to, uh, I don't know, favor to make Bernie look bad and Trump look good. He does that too, by the way. Go check out his Bernie Sanders videos. <laughs> All right. All right, that's it for me. Please subscribe if you like. Comment, agree, disagree. Tell me what you think. Tell me, send me information. You know, of shit I'm missing in the video. Put it in the comment section so other people can see it. Right? I've had I had I've had a discussion with some dude and or chick, and uh, they're telling me like, oh, just Google it. I'm like, eh, put the quote in the fucking comment section so people can look at it. Right? I do that in videos sometimes. Like, oh, they're talking. What are people talking about? Oh, he disproved them right here. Here's the link for it. I like shit like that. I want to see shit like that. If you're disproving me, put a fucking link down and say, look, here's where you're wrong. Or you don't even have to tell me. Just put it in there so other people can fucking see it. But, yeah, comment section. Don't forget to donate. Devin's Journey to Recovery. Go fund me link in the description box. And with all that said... Give this video a thumbs down. Say you wanna get him.